What is going on, everybody? So I wanted to come at you guys with three beginner blues licks that could really set you apart from others. These are like 50 style BB King blues licks. Let's get into it. So we're gonna be in the key of A, and we're gonna start with a very simple, but very effective blues lick. So we're gonna go. Okay, so we've got five to six on the G and then five, five on the B and E. And then you meet the root, B string, 10th fret. And I'm double hitting on the B string here because that's a very 50s BB King thing. And you can even do it more than, you know, more than twice. He does that in a solo that I love, which I'll do a lesson on at some point. You'd end it with a note like that. It's pushing the minor third of A, eighth fret E string. Just giving a little twist. Awesome. Let's get to the next one. Next one we've got is still in the key of A. thing so we're gonna come up here on the 10th fret or excuse me 11th fret e string and go which is 11 10 9 and then 10th fret b string and then we're gonna reach down here to the 7th fret b string take that same minor third again tease it to the major third a couple times great lick to do right before you go to the four. Right? So, so far the two we've got are those are two, you could start your solo with just those two. Let's get to the third one. Third one, we're gonna it's gonna be definitely the hardest of the three. Uh, so we're gonna go. A little bit more difficult, so let's do it again. So for the third and final lick, we're actually gonna get a little bit more complicated for this one, a little longer phrase. Um, but we're still in the key of A, so we're gonna go. time all right so we're starting on the 12th fret e i'm going to bend up a minor third twice so and we're going to pull off from 12 to 10 on the e Land on the 13th fret B string. Bend it up a little bit. Again, we're bending that minor third up to the major a little bit, just kind of teasing it. We're gonna do that, which is 10th fret E, half step, but it's a little bit between a half and a whole. It's kind of strange. Back to that 13th fret B. Then, which is play the G and the B at the same time. We got 11th fret G, 10th fret B. Then play that note by itself. That's your root note, 10th fret B string. And then no picking, hammer on. Bend up the 12th fret B, just a hair. A little over half a step. Land back on the G11, B10. That's where we are with that.
So let's get to the, I'll put the camera down for the right hand so you can see what I'm doing. So as far as the right hand's concerned with this one, we've got. So I hope you guys like these quick blues licks. I know it's Halloween, everyone's pretty busy today. Um, my content with some quick content, some easy to learn things. And since it's on YouTube, don't forget, you can actually slow down the video if you need to be even slower. Um, and again, I do teach outside of this, um, usually one hour lessons. I give patrons a discount as well. I've had a few students from that actually. Um, so let me know if you wanna expand on any of the things we've already talked about. Love to get some private lessons going with you guys. And if not, I'll see you in the next video. Later, everybody.